Let's say everything in the Apple world was perfect and you could have anything you wanted. With that being said, what would be your dream iOS screen recorder? Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. It's so good of you to join us today. And yeah, I've decided to take a step back from the iOS screen recording market because we can see what we have and what we have is acceptable. We can screen record despite Apple's attempts to stop us, but in a dream world, a perfect world with no restrictions, what do we really desire from our iOS screen recorders? So this is my wish list of what I want in an iOS screen recorder. And if any techie guys or developers are watching this and have aneurysms of what I'm suggesting, saying that's technically impossible, no way we can do it, this is make believe. It may not ever happen, but it's what we really want. And point one is actually really what we already have, but it'd be nice to have it in every single screen recorder. I always recommend Airshow to everybody who says what's the best screen recorder because it works and it works reliably. I can't remember any screen recording that's failed and I do admit I have an iPad mini 4 and an iPhone 7 so I do have uh, high grade iOS devices but yeah it's never failed on me and it does a good image quality, good, does good frame rate, acceptable audio but there's always something there to work with. As long as a iOS screen recorder has reliability and you can trust it then we're moving in the right direction and that would just be nice to have uniform across every single iOS screen recorder. Okay, let's move on to stuff that we don't have and it's good audio. We have two ends of a spectrum here. We have an air show which records from the external microphone so it picks up everything, game sounds to a decent level, but it's also going to pick up your dog barking, children fighting in the background and the occasional fart. And then we have video, or we did have video at the other end of the line where you can't hear any of the audios, but it records it perfectly internally. But then you have to do odd things to get the voice to sync over for a narration, and it's just not convenient. So first of all, you'd want the options to record the external microphone if you wanted to. You want to hear the audio when you're recording, and ideally, in a perfect world, you'd want it to record the sounds internally and then be able to plug in a microphone to get real decent quality with something like this that I'm using. One thing that makes videos really interesting, and I'm just discovering this myself, is a connection with the audience. So you can actually see the person who's talking, or reacting, or playing a game. And that obviously means a face cam. Every iOS device has a camera pointing at you when you're using the screen, but you're not able to use it when you're recording the screen. So adding that function would be brilliant. And there is one app that already does it. It's called Reco, but that only records when you're on a browser, a web browser, playing games, which I briefly showed in a previous video. The only way to do it now would be to record yourself with a separate camera and then splice it in through post editing and that's going to be really difficult especially if you only have an iOS device. So face cam is definitely one that we would like to add to the list. And speaking of visuals, it would be really nice if you could solve the border problem which you get from both portrait and landscape screen recordings because the aspect ratio doesn't quite fit what YouTube outputs which is 1080p, 720p or whatever. So, if you could automatically add a blur effect to your screens, like you can with video editors uh, post-recording, that would just be a really handy, useful tool to add, so you didn't have to put any work into it once you finish your recording. What about touch input? Again, this is something that's easily done on Android, and that Reco recorder, which again only records web browsers, does have touch input. And that would be another really useful way to show people what you're doing, especially when you're doing tutorials, which is something that I often do. And now for the final point on my iOS screen recording wish list. It is probably the most boring one, but it is the most important. And that's to make iOS screen recording legitimate on an Apple device. To go onto the App Store, download one, perhaps even pay for it with extra features, and be able to use it without the worry that it will get revoked, chucked off, desupported. Right now we have to beg, borrow and steal for our iOS screen recorders, whether it's going to Tutu, Tweetbox, iEmulators. We're very thankful for these services, but they're not ideal. So yeah, Apple, come on. There are probably millions of people who want to screen record and you make it so difficult. So there you have my iOS screen recording wish list, a fairly long and comprehensive one. But I bet you're thinking, yeah, Rob, but I want this, this and this. So, add your thoughts to the comments below and let's start a discussion. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Yeah, well, we did have video at the other end of the line where you can't hear any of the audios, but it records.